Hi guys, so this is going to be a favourites video. I haven't done one of these for absolutely ages, I don't know why. Um, but yes, this is going to be my August favourites with a few things kind of thrown in from other months that I've been loving for ages and ages. Um, yes, yeah, so starting off with skincare products. Um, I'm still still in love with the Murad Time Release Anti Cleanser. I just think this is just such a lovely cleanser. If you've got blemishes and breakouts and things, but you find other you know acne treatments just too harsh for you, this is so good. I mean, I don't have really bad skin but I do get the occasional blowish or little spots under the skin and things around my chin every now and then um, but I just find using this especially with the Clarisonic um, just you know at night time not in the morning um, just to kind of like refresh the skin it just really gets rid of any little blemishes any breakouts I have really quickly and it's not stripping it's not like hurtful to the skin um, so yeah, I've been really loving that um, and a moisturiser I've been using absolutely all month that I've had for probably about two years now I don't know if I should still have this bottle, but um, I kind of tucked it away, didn't use it much, liked it but didn't absolutely love it, but this month I've been using it every single day and I really, really like it again. Um, so it's the Lizard Skin Repair Light Moisturiser. This is the kind of combination oily skin and I'm sure you'll know that I absolutely love Lizard products. Um, so I don't know why I haven't <laughs> used this for so long, but yeah, it's just a really lovely light moisturiser if you've got, you know, slightly more oily skin and you want to... You want to hydrate your skin but you don't want to kind of like leave it too oily with like a rich moisturiser. Um, this is a really good one. So yeah, I've been loving that. And then, because it's been quite sunny, well, I say that, sitting here wearing a woolly jumper. <laughs> Summer is pretty much gone now, but it has been quite sunny still, um, even though it's a bit cold. So I've been using the Clinique City Block um, just underneath all my makeup. And this is SPF 40. I know that might be quite high for some people, but... I'm just terrified, <laughs> I'm terrified of like what the sun can do to your skin. Ever since I went on kind of like a skincare training course of work um, and found out what even like five minutes of sun can do to your skin, I was kind of like, ah, pass me the SPF right away. Um, so yeah, I like to use this every single day, rain or shine, snow or, or wind, um, just because I it just protects your skin. I mean... It does stop you getting kind of like a tan, I suppose, but as I'm pale all over anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, that one's just, I like to use that every day just so I know that my skin is protected from wrinkles and sun and things. And so my last skincare product is the Origin Stream Cup Intensive Overnight Mask. And this one I did a blog post a while ago, so I'll link that below. Um, but it's just a great mask if you feel your skin is really dehydrated and you want to really... Um, like freshen it up and hydrate it. I went into Origins originally trying to buy the 10 minute mask, like the 10 minute hydrating version of this. They didn't have it, so me being me had to buy something, <laughs> walked away with the overnight one, and I'm actually really glad I did because it's just a really nice step to do every, every about once or twice a week I use this. So I'll do my serum and my eye cream and stuff like that, and then I'll put this on instead of my moisturiser, so just a nice kind of thick layer of it. Um, about half an hour before I go to bed, let it all sink in and I just wake up with like glowing, fresh, hydrated but not oily, really moisturised skin. Um, so if you've got kind of like dryness, flaky patches, things like that, that is, I really recommend going and buying this mask. It's quite cheap, so I think it's, well it's 20 quid, but for a high end brand um, and a mask, I think that's really good. Just love Origins, so um, I will be buying more products from them. Okay, a couple of shower products I've been loving at the moment are the Luxatan Almond Oil Shower Oil. I love the concept of shower oils, they're so amazing. They kind of come out just like, you know, an oil, and then you kind of massage them all into your skin, and then as soon as the water hits them, they just turn into a lovely milk, so they kind of emulsify um, and turn not into a foam, but just like a, um, a really luxurious sort of milky consistency. Um, so it just leaves your skin kind of very, really plump and hydrated when you come out of the shower. Um, it's a little bit pricey but it's about £17 or something. And I've been kind of like umming and ahhing whether I should buy it but really glad I did because it's so lovely. I've barely used any of it as well so it's going to last a long, long time. And then the second product is the Body Shop Shockomania Exfoliator. This came out, it was a good, it was a while ago. Nearly a year, I think. Um, and as soon as I saw it in Body Shop, I just ran. <laughs> as soon as it said like chocolate, I just ran towards it and smelled it. And honestly, you even if you don't buy this, you need to go and smell this. It is incredible. The whole range just smells amazing. But I think the body scrub for some reason is just oh, 
just smells like chocolate. It is just black, like brown, rich. Um, I think it's made of the little scrubs made of cocoa beans. Um, and it just is a really good exfoliator as well. It really gets off any like dry skin on your legs and your body. Um, but oh, just for the smell, I would buy this again and again. So a couple of makeup products, and the first one is um, the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Now I have a lot of foundations. I'm sure you know. I buy a new one probably about once a week. But this is just amazing. It. I, I first saw this on Kate um, from Ghost Parties, and her skin is just immaculate. So I thought, right, I need to go and buy that right now. Um, but it's just such a beautiful foundation. It kind of gives like a, the coverage, I'd say, like nearly of double wear, so it's a lot of double wear. It really covers the skin well, but it's really cre creamy and silky, so it's not heavy, it's not matte. Um, but it's just like, if you use a buffing brush with this, it's just like buffing silk into your skin. It just leaves a really lovely, like smooth texture, smooths out any little pores and things. Um, but the finish of this is just flawless, like your skin just looks amazing. I absolutely love this. Definitely recommend going and getting a sample from Laura Mercier. And then um, another one is Dallas Bronzer. I use this all the time. It's my most used like cheap product at all, I'm sure. It's a really dark brown colour, so I never thought it really kind of suit me, but um, I absolutely love that. I love the smell of it too. That's a bit weird, but it does smell good. So my last makeup product is a little bit um, different to what I would usually use. I know I go on and on about how I hate using powders on my skin and how I like my foundation to have a glow and not be mattified. Um, but after seeing this on so many people's blogs and reviews and things, I just I just had to buy it. It's only about three pounds, um, and it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I thought, you know, it's just a cheapy little drugstore product. It can't be <laughs> amazing, but it's actually really really nice. I think just to set your makeup along like your T-zone on your nose, if you because I do get a bit oily, but I don't like to wear powder. I just like to top up my foundation. Um, throughout the day, but this, it, it kind of, it does mattify the skin, so, I mean, I still like to put a bit of highlighter on top, but it's just so kind of like smoothing, it's not cakey at all, um, it's just a really lovely little last step to makeup, um, I don't use a lot of it, just a tiny bit, but um, yeah, I've been really liking a powder, which is a bit strange for me, but yeah, so a few nail products, um, and as you all know, probably, I've been obsessed with Essie recently, so I bought a few products from their summer collection, um, I think it's their summer collection, or their newest collection, um, and this is Bikini Sotini and Fear and Desire, and I think these are just like the perfect kind of summer colours. This one, the Bikini Sotini, is making its way around like Instagram, the blogs, everywhere at the moment. I think it's becoming the new mint candy apple, which was like the big one a while ago. Um, but it's just the most beautiful kind of lilac-y blue with a tiny bit of shimmer through it. You can't really see that when it's on the nails, but um, oh, it's just such a lovely colour. And then Fear and Desire, I have this on my toes at the moment, <laughs> it's such a nice like bright, um, really bright orange, not fluorescent but just like bright enough to kind of really stand out. And then last of all is a fragrance, a perfume, and I've had this one for absolutely years as well, um, and it's Chloe. It's kind of like a love-hate perfume I think, it's quite strong, you only need about one spray of it to really, you know, smell of it, but it's just so beautiful. It's a really sort of like fresh but almost a bit rosy and quite citrusy perfume. I can't describe it, you have to go and smell it yourself. Um, but recently I've just been wearing this non-stop. I think this is probably my all-time favourite, I'm sure. Um, I could never get rid of it. And I've only ever had one bottle of it as well. It really does last such a long time. And um, yeah, so that's Chloe. Go and smell that, it's lovely. So those are all my favourites. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Bye.